Yeah, it's cool. 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 Yeah, it's He's supposed to be the That's the money. You know I'm always out here. So you gotta help me out. So do the I have do yeah. Now do one with your hand like lean. Uh-uh, but take the other one out here. Must be good to you. My cheeks hurt. It's been real quiet ever since Michelle released this bridge. Yay! Michelle I'm looking at this TikTok and it's talking about Michelle Williams being the queen of bridges. Michelle Williams of Destiny Child being the queen of bridges and y'all putting respect on her name because yes, yes, especially on Destiny Fulfill, she ate every bridge on every song. I need y'all to put some respect on Michelle's name. Ooh, that shot was nasty. It's Thursday afternoon. It's 154 and I'm sitting at my work desk. This vlog is probably so choppy and weird, but like, I ain't really doing nothing this week. Anyway, I do have a new purchase to show y'all. I bought myself an early birthday gift. I ordered it yesterday morning. It came today. Essence, like, threw that sh to my house. Um, anyway, but I'm sitting here because I had, a, like, a drop-in session that nobody dropped into. It ends in five minutes. So, anyway, I thought I'd open up the camera or open up the camera. Turn on the camera and sh hold on. Let me answer this question. Y'all crooked, hold on. Nothing came through. I have to get my nails cut because I think I said this in the last vlog, I cannot type with these nails. Yes, nothing came through, I think we're good. Anyway, I was saying I did a drop-in session where I had a subject matter expert for the subject matter that people were to ask questions about, like was to be a part of it, but 15, 20 minutes into the meeting, nobody had dropped in to ask a question. So I'm like, you could just drop off, just stay next to your teams. I'll ping you if I get a question that I can't handle. So that was him pinging me like, hey, did we get anything? No, we didn't get anything. So now, I can show y'all what I bought. Oh, first, let me tell y'all. I'm in my team meeting earlier today, and usually I'm on mute, because I don't really have nothing to contribute unless I have something to com contribute. So, apparently, I knocked myself off of mute and didn't realize it. So, when I'm working, my I'm right-handed, right? So, I use my right hand when I'm, like, using my mouse. So, I'm working, like, I'm checking something on my computer while I'm in the meeting, and my phone is next to my hand. So my, my finger hits TikTok, and before the meeting, I was looking at some TikToks on my own page. So it opens up to a TikTok where I'm talking, and I just was like, whatever, I'm, not, I'm on mute, so it doesn't matter. But then the person that was presenting in the meeting, they stopped talking. So then I looked down at my phone and looked at my computer, and I was not on mute. So I hurried up and like, Cut, like close to TikTok and put my phone on mute or whatever. But then afterwards, my boss pinged me and he was like, you got some time to meet or whatever. So I'm oblivious because I'm thinking it's obvious a mistake, obviously a mistake. It didn't register in my mind that it sound, it did sound like the TikTok that I was like, that it popped onto. It did sound like I could possibly be talking to somebody else. Anyway, he wanted to make sure that I wasn't taking another meeting like on company time while like I was in a meeting. I was like, <laughs> literally, this is so embarrassing. 
but that was a TikTok. That was a TikTok of me talking. Like my phone is next to the mouse and my finger hit it and it opened up to a TikTok of me talking. Like le legit. And I'm so embarrassed. And he just started laughing. He was like, it happens. I just wanted to make sure. And I blame people on social media, this whole culture of like, I work from home, but I take advantage of it. I'm working two full-time jobs and all that type of I blame y'all. I blame y'all. Because that's a legitimate concern. So I'm not offended or anything that he asked me. I just, I'm a little embarrassed because it was TikTok. <laughs> so I did an unboxing for TikTok. So <laughs> this is the aftermath. They are Valentino. They're called the Garvani uh, Bubble Back Sneaker. This is the sneaker here. Um, it just has like this orange Valentino um, like signage on the back. If you know, you know, it's sort of like inconspicuous, which I really like. And then this is the shoe. It reminds you a little bit of like a Yeezy. It has that same V and then it's like suede, like a neutral suede here. Um, and then it just has like a green Valentino tag on the toe. So this is the shoe. I got them a half size too big. So I went up a half size. Let me show you both of them together. I'm obsessed with these shoes. They have been on my wish list for so freaking long for at least a year. And I think this is the original color. And this color would like never ever go on sale. These shoes are $890 by the way. They would never go on sale. They would make other colorways and those would go on sale. But this color would not go on sale. And I wanted this shoe specifically in this color. I saw an Asian girl walking down the street on Michigan Avenue one day. I was like down there for work. And I got so close to her just to look at her feet to see what the shoes was. The shoes was, and I noticed the orange V on the back. So I like literally Googled sneakers with orange V on the back, and these came up. So they have been on my wish list ever since then. Scrolling yesterday because I was like, you know what, F it. I'm just gonna buy them. I'm gonna pay the $8.90. It's gonna be my birthday gift to myself. It is what it is because I want these shoes so bad. These are perfect for spring, and I want them now. Put them in, they pop up on Essence for 30% off. So I literally got these for less than $600 after tax. And I am, like, I bought them immediately. So everything that I read said that they were true to size. I don't know what people's definition of true to size is, but they didn't have a 10 or an eight and a half in men. They had a half size down and they had a half size up. So a 10 and a half. Um, and women and I went the half size up and I'm so freaking glad that I did and I really did that because they remind me again of Yeezys and my Yeezys that's sort of this silhouette run small I'm so glad I went half a size up because the half a size up is still like perfect fit I could have went another half a size up anyway this is one of probably a few birthday gifts to myself I ain't gonna even hold y'all I said this was my birthday gift but it's still February my birthday ain't until March 19th so who knows <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to show y'all my new shoes. I'm probably most definitely going to wear them. Monday, I'm actually going to New York. So I'll probably take these with me and wear them to the airport because they're so bulky and I'm trying to just take a carry on. Um, but I'm for sure taking them with me because I'm that type of person where when I get some, I gotta wear it. I'm not a save your stuff type person. I be wanting to wear my stuff immediately. Um, so they're probably gonna come with me. But anyway, just wanted to show you that. Let me close out this meeting that nobody came to and finish the task on my to-do list. I literally stabbed myself in the eye. It's Saturday morning. Well, it's afternoon now. Oh, it's still morning. It's 10.59. Um, got back in from the gym a little while ago. I stopped in Target after the gym because I needed to get detergent and hair dye. Got the hair dye. Forgot the detergent. Got a whole bunch of other shit. I'm trying to pack because I fly out Monday after work so i'm trying to like get my stuff together i need to do a bunch of laundry not that i'm taking a whole bunch of stuff with me but i don't want a messy house when i get back my dresser got stuff all over it because i was transferring my toilet toiletries i used to have like my toiletries and all of these little travel bags when i travel just stuff that i got from different brands this glossier this Ghani. Um, and I would just throw like my toiletries in that and I finally went on Amazon and ordered one of these like toiletry bag situations. And I thought I was going to be able to put all my toiletries and makeup in here. Girl, please. Like, look at this. It's filled to the max. Well, it's not filled to the max, but I want it to like still be compact enough where I can put it at the bottom of my suitcase because I'm trying to take my little suitcase and do a carry-on so I don't have to pay because I'm flying American. <laughs> and I don't want to 
pay to check my luggage. I mean, I will if I have to. Whatever. My hands are so ashy, too. Anyway, just got like your normal stuff. A bunch of. I hope this shit don't waste out in here. I'm gonna be mad if it do. Anyway, that's that. So now I have to pack my makeup in my normal little makeup cases, which are disgusting. I need to get new one of those too. I need to get a new um, set of those too. I need to stop in like Marshall's tomorrow. So I'll see if they have some in Marshall's. But that's that. She a little cheap. She threads hanging all out of it and everything. It had decent reviews on Amazon though. How rude. Won't be linking that. Um, anyway. So these are my two little makeup things. I put my brushes in here my makeup in here. And they are filthy because I've had them forever. But I'm going to have to use them. I really need to wash these brushes, but the likelihood that I'm going to actually use them <laughs> is really low. So I'm not even gonna worry about it, but I'm gonna take them anyway. And then this little beauty blender. Actually, let me take that out of there. Let me quickly. that. So there's that. My hands are so ashy, y'all, because I have to wash them so many times after I leave the gym. Look at the inside of that, that's nasty. Um. I'm gonna see if I can find one tomorrow. Anyway, my MAC powder, tried and true. I've been using Mineralize Skin Finish and Dark Deep for I don't even know how long. And then I have some translucent powder. This is the Laura Mercier. I used to use just the regular translucent. I'm thinking about going back because I got this medium deep. I think there's one lighter than this, but for whatever reason, I ordered medium deep and it's too dark. So I either need to get the one that's lighter than this or go back to my translucent one. Um, this Ilia setting spray I bought when I was in Miami and I actually really like it. Hula bronzer. I probably won't be doing no bronzing, but I'm taking it anyway. NARS orgasm favorite blush since college. Um, this primer, I love it. I am almost out of it, and I don't even know if they still sell it. But this is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer. I love this stuff. Anyway, taking that Radiant Creamy Concealer, tried and true. I also really like this e.l.f. Um, hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. I saw Kyra Amanique use this and I was like, mm, I was in the store one day and just picked it up and I actually really like it. I use it, um, this is more of my skin tone. This is in uh, the NARS Ready and Creamy. It's in Amund or Monday, however you say that. So that's more close to my skin tone. This is a tad bit lighter. So whenever I want a little brightness, I'll use this um, too. And this is in Deep Chestnut. Anyway, better than sex mascara, another tried and true since college. Favorite nude is this pinky nude by Sephora. It's number six. Anastasia Beverly Hills. Brow, gotta have my matte chestnut liner. Ruby Woo, of course, gotta take a red lip with me. And then this uh, gloss from Merit for my nude lip. And then I'll just throw the sponge in there. So makeup brushes all packed so my goal is to only take this uh small carry-on and my work bag and i'll just throw like maybe my little Givenchy like crossbody so far so good these jeans are out because i might have to wear them i want to take them i might have to wear them um because two pair of jeans just ain't gonna be and i got another pair just in case we get dinner or something like that and i got like a cute pair so far so good i still need to put a couple pair of like workout clothes uh like workout pants and a couple sports bras um and then some underwear and some socks in there and i feel like it's gonna work i feel like it's gonna work we'll see we'll see <laughs> no anyways are out oh lord please do Hey, y'all can't see my face. I'm oh, my hair look crazy. Um, I just got back in. I went out a little while ago and got my nails done. Just got red and I got them cut shorter and I got them more oval than um like the little coffin shape that I had. It's time for me to go back to my grown up. Hell no. So look, 
I was right in my okay stop I must have hit like the voice button down here so because it's sending my um, friend a voice like not a voice message but it's typing out what I'm saying to y'all in my text message to send to my Woo, technology is friggy -higgy. anyway these are the nails I said I was saying it's time for me to grow up a little bit more I, I had fun with the like super pointy coffin shape but like you know let's let's be FFR um, anyway my hands hella ashy um, because I wash my hands and I'm about to wash them again anyway my hands be so dry because I wash them so much but baby if I step foot out that dough I don't care if I'm just running down to my mailbox it's I, they getting a good wash anyway I did stop at Whole Foods because it's right next to the nail shop to get a muffin but i forgot angela you getting a manicure not a pedicure like exactly how are you gonna eat this while she's doing your nails so i literally just nibbled on it as much as i could but that's fine i have a dinner reservation or early dinner i guess reservation for sushi with my friends mm. this is like a carrot muffin it's so good so i got that and a big old bottle of water that i also didn't get to open and drink i also checked my mail and i ordered some more prints from free prints Yes, I did a collab with them, but I also really like my printout, so I ordered some more. And a part of the collaboration, they gave me like a bunch of um, free prints, so I got like 70 more left that I'm absolutely going to use, or at least try to anyway, before they run out. Um, so I got the uh, picture of me dancing in the street in Miami printed. I got this one that my friend took of me and Kith. Like that was her vision. It was so dope. So I had to get that printed. I just love the way my waist looks so snatched in this picture. Mm. Any picture of me like smiling with my mouth open, I love because that's like my thing. And I don't even be doing that on purpose. This one, my eyes is closed, but my outfit is fire. And I just, I wanted a picture of that. Of course, I did this bathing suit because, girl, that's crazy. That bathing suit is so fire. Oh, I did, too. I did that one, too, because I couldn't decide. And then me at the museum in my Ghani dress. Oh, so cute. I did two of that one, too, because I couldn't decide if I want to do side of front. So, got some more prints. I got to figure out what I'm going to do. Am I going to scrapbook it or am I going to... Um, if I go, ew, I just touched my muffin after such a, oh well. God, I made dirt, dirt don't hurt. Um, I'm going to scrapbook them or buy um, some picture frames and slot them in. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to chill and I'll be back when I get dressed to go to dinner. Just giving y'all a quick little look at what I'm wearing to grab sushi. Nothing spectacular. T-shirt, jeans, sambas, um, Sandro coat, Givenchy crossbody. That's it. I'll probably throw in some shades because it's still a little light outside. But, like, that's it. That's it. You got to get you a personal style uniform. Mine is just a white t-shirt and jeans. Whenever you just need something quick to throw on or you don't feel like getting dressed or you don't know what to dress. I mean, what to wear. You always have a look that you know you can throw together and make it look decent and be out the door. And I have different variations of this. This is, like, super casual, oversized jeans, um, t-shirt with my midriff. But I have, like more dressier or more elevated versions of this as well so that's my little my little style tip for the day so the place that we're going to is byob so we're in benny's which is a like um alcohol and wine shop here in chicago and y'all know where i'm at i'm in the reds but i'm i'm too far this is like my special occasion wine camus it's delicious but it's 80 99 it's 80 to 100 dollars um a bottle depending on how many people drinking it but when i'm got something to celebrate I will come in and give me some Camus. Um, anyway, what are we drinking? What are we drinking? I normally get just like um, Freak Show, but I had some Freak Show last week. And um, maybe I want something different. Freak Show, that's one of my favorite inexpensive ones. I also like Chateau St. Michel Cabernet, which is even cheaper and it's really good too. Um, I like decoy as well. I really like decoy. I might get some decoy. Oh, and Dow is also really good. So, like, if I have a dinner party, I'll do, like, Dow or decoy because they're $20, to $20 and above. But if I'm just, like, chilling with my homegirls or something like that, then I would do, like, Freak Show or the Chateau St. Michelle. And, again, if I'm having, like, a super 
like special occasion something then i'll buy the camus justin is also really good that's another one that i would serve if i was like having like a dinner or something like that girl who do i think i am i am not a wine connoisseur okay but ooh, chateau saint michelle on sale i'm about to get that <laughs> cheap cheap um, like So I'm back home. As you can see, I'm keeping the party going. Got me a glass of wine. Sushi was really good. I am stuffed. Um, so I'm probably going to, it's 7.43. I'm gonna spend the rest of the night watching TV until I fall asleep and drinking this glass of wine. I'm only gonna have this glass. I'm not gonna have any more. I did get a package from Amazon. Let's see what they look like. I don't like anything too big but i also don't need something too small because my um earlobes are like super fat so they come in like all of these different sizes i don't know if you can see these two are sort of big mm -mm, that's too big let's look at that like that one that stone is a little too big for me then you have this one that's like the next size down, which is decent, but also not a little too big for every day. I think I'm going to do this size just for like every day. And then they get smaller from there. This is the smallest one. Like my earlobes is way too big for this. <laughs> like ain't no way, boy. Ain't no freaking way. So we're going to do... Oop, I can't even get them. I'm gonna do these. Right now I have these little gold hoops on that I also bought off of Amazon in that same order. I just needed like a small gold, like everyday sort of hoop. Anyway, I'm going to transition into these studs and I am going to call it a night. I am such a stud girl. I am such a stud girl. I love it. I like it a lot. Anyway. That's it for this week's vlog. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm gonna go take this shirt off because I'm gonna be 100 done with y'all. I'm probably gonna put it back on and wear it to the airport tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, thank y'all so much for watching this week's vlog. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of the things. Also, make sure you're following me on TikTok for daily updates um, on my life and happenings and what's going on. Um, and I'm a little tipsy. I'm not gonna even hold y'all. Um, and <laughs> I'll talk to y'all in next week's vlog. Bye.